Hello everyone, we are in the kitchen having my face up for strawberry jam. So we already did this once. This is batch number technically three. And we're gonna get going. We've got dad took all of our stems and leaves off that have washed. And we're gonna throw it in our blender. So I just blend them, you can mash them, but find it easy to blend them. before Brad eats them all. The strawberry thief. At least you're an honest strawberry thief. Hey, Bridget. I'll let you get those little pizzas. Oh no, don't eat yours. We are tried a new recipe using Pomoda's pectin. We like this because it's just two ingredients. So you're going to use pectin. It's just pure fruit pectin. And then you make calcium water and that's what helps your pectin set. Now with this, you have a lot more control over how much sugar you put in. And it's just not all of there's just not a bunch of added ingredients. So the pectin you buy from the store has added dextrose, which is an artificial sweetener. With all their preservatives in it. So we like this just being two ingredients. We know what they are. So that's great. All right, we have 13 cups here of blended strawberries. Yum. So this won't be a chunky gel. It'll just be a smooth jelly. And to that, we need to add, let's see, two, four, six and a half teaspoons of pectin. So I just put all my pectin in a jar because I've got more than I need. And we'll save it for later. So. There we go. All right, we are going to add our sugar. We've got nine cups of sugar that we are having. You could do a lot less with this pectin, but I want to taste it. Oh, we gotta stir it first. There it goes. How about you get his food? Yeah, that's good. Last, we're gonna add our calcium water. And then stir, stir, stir for about one or two minutes. Water over here with our candy jars in it. So we're gonna take those out. Got a little bit left. Put it in the. Well, I don't know. Just put it in the fridge. This one, we'll just put it in the fridge. I'll be right away. The rest are about to go in a water bath can. Gabriel, stop videoing and then help me with the lids. I did it so. And Bridget tasted it. Our rings, which we just wash in soapy water. Hot. So we are going to put these in our water bath canner over here and uh, they need to boil for 10 minutes. All right, our timer just went off, which means it's time to get them out. I'm hungry. Gabriel managed to fit them all in two layers. So we got some finagling to do to get them out. These are going to sit on the counter for 12 to 24 hours. I'm about to fall. Okay. I'm about to fall. 
Well, thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoy some of our candy videos. These are strawberries from our garden, but hopefully we will have some green beans, potatoes, different things to can from our garden soon. See y'all later. Bye.